Well, I built a new one. This is the old one. There's nothing on it anymore, just some tape on the disc. And around here a little bit, but still spins good. I should still use it for something, maybe. But this one, however, I put together a little nicer, put uh, some effort into it. Got the uh, stator wires using the thicker gauge wire for sure. And I find out the negative, I can just put inside the bearing screw there. And it just continues and seems to work. The other little brush that I was using for that, it's, uh, yeah, I can't barely even see it. I disconnected it because it's just too much of a pain in the butt to adjust it. And added a little block thing here of uh, terminals. Now all of it's held together with hanger wire. Just use a hanger and bent it up and it seems to work rather well. Very sturdy. But back here I've got it soldered up. Got it rubber glued so that we don't have to worry about it falling apart. They just come over and tie back into the block over here. Right now I've just got one battery operating the thing. It's a six volt battery. I haven't really got a chance to get any good uh measurements off of this. Uh theoretically it works like a Bedini circuit, but not just for the simple fact that it doesn't handle the switching the disc does. Kind of clever. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure somebody's got one. Anyways, let's start her up. There was no adjustment there. It did it on its own. It's a very loud machine. And since this actually has two discs, it acts like a uh, Tesla turbine. You can actually feel the air coming off of the side here. Fun stuff. Not much torque. Still a good amount, though. It takes a minute to stop it with your finger. But that's a uh, that's the new one. That's the old one and the new one. Nice and clean. 